calm down. I know you haven't slept with hundreds of women. I know you haven't slept with a woman in a few weeks, a month. Just calm down. As soon as you start getting desperate, as soon as you start feeling this scarcity mindset, people are gonna smell it off you. So I'm making this video because I want men to understand that the amount of women you sleep with does not matter to your end result, okay? Now, I'm also speaking from personal experience. I don't wanna reveal exactly how many girls I've slept with, but it's, it's a large number. And has it really done anything for my ego and my pride? Not really, no, it hasn't. It was just a man's sexual desire at that moment. You know, I'm, I've got high libido, I've got high testosterone, I'm, I'm a fucking man's man, I wanna sleep, you know, I wanna have sex, it's just part of my nature. And, you know, if I'm attracted to a girl, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt it. I've always been confident ever since I was young. And that got me laid um, many, many times, way more than the average person. Um, I don't feel comfortable saying the exact number because they, there might be girls that I really like listening to this video and it's unnecessary to reveal that kind of information. But what I did wanna say, and this is kind of a bit of a spiritual video as well, in the sense that it didn't make me feel good. 99.9% .9 of girls that I slept with, I didn't feel anything for. And it was just literally a spare of the moment thing. And as soon as I was done, you know, as soon as I orgasmed, I was like, Ugh, like, get me away from this situation. Oh, what's she doing in my house? Oh, how do I get out of here? What's the quickest way out of this situation? I would say that the only time I've ever wanted to hang around after I've had sex was with my ex-girlfriends. Um, there were five of them and three of them in particular I'd loved. And those were the only ones really that I wanted to hang around with properly after having sex. So when you love a woman and you're in love with the woman and you have sex with her, you you'll do the cuddling you'll you'll snuggle at the end you know you'll hang around because because you have this certain feeling towards her right this 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 chemical in your mind these endorphins this serotonin the oxytocin they're all flying through your veins so those are the only times i've ever really wanted to stick around with with a woman the rest of the times it was just like just in the moment getting it done and just having sex and just being a bit wild and you know after some party or on some boat in Miami and there's been a lot of situations where I've where I've been you know where it's happened because I'm also quite forthcoming as a guy you know I'm confident I'll go for it I'll like go in for the kiss I'll go in for it and like most of the time you will the man does lead the charge right a woman's not going to be like hey I really fancy you should we have sex right now that's just not how it works so what I do want to say is that it hasn't really served me in the sense that it hasn't really made me feel good about myself. I, I look back now and I think that it was all to maybe feed the ego and feed pride and that's just the wrong reasons to be doing these things. Ultimately, it's better to, and I have some friends who have only slept with, I don't know, a maximum of five to 10 girls, maybe five or six girls their whole life. But the sixth girl they slept with was the woman that they're with now. And they're engaged or they're married or they've got a girlfriend and they're happily in a situation. They're happily in a relationship. And those people have something right now that I don't. And that's a loving, committed relationship. Okay, I'm not in a loving, committed relationship. I have multiple women that I'm interested in that I kind of, um, that I speak to until, until one of them qualifies herself efficiently to become my girlfriend. Because in my position, I can interview if you like different women i'm not just going to go for the first woman that turns up so so the people that are married engaged in loving relationships have something that i don't have and those people have uh, have something that uh, that 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 they never had that i had for example so they never had a number of sexual experiences with lots of different women you know tens hundreds whatever they never had that, right? So they only had few women in their life. But that shouldn't judge your value, okay? A man is not valued on how many women he sleeps with. That is the main point of this video. If you're listening to this and you've slept with three girls your whole life, it's okay. Because the guys that I know that have slept with hundreds, I mean, I was speaking to a guy recently that slept with a thousand women in his whole life. He's nearing, he's nearing 50. And he can't find a committed relationship. He can't find a loving woman. He's completely tainted. And for the ones that have slept with many women, we're quite tainted, actually. We expect too much. We 
find it hard to be with one woman because we, you know, we want sex from other women at the same time. Um, it's just within our nature, really. And so we, we're actually pretty fucked up, the ones that have slept with all these different women. So don't feel bad if you've only slept with, you know, a few women in your life. In fact, that's very honourable of you as a man. Yes, you should experience. Yes, you should go out there. Yes, you should get laid. Yes, you should learn game. Yes, you should be in good shape. You should have high levels of testosterone. You should be masculine. But that doesn't mean that you're judged by the amount of girls you slept with. That's just really not how this game works, my friends. So... You know, don't worry about it if you slept with a few women. As long as you are working on yourself, as long as you are of good value as a man, as long as you are working towards your ambitions, you have a purpose, you have a good body, you are calm, you are collected, you have a calm demeanor about you, you have good friends, you have good relationships, you have a good family, um, you know, you have loving and supporting friends and supportive friends, then you're living a good life and, and you, will, you will get what you deserve in the end. You will find a good woman. Okay, women don't just flock to the men who've slept with the most amount of women. The only difference is with those men is that they've probably got a bit more confidence about them in the way that they move and women like confidence, right? So maybe if you slept with a very limited number of women, you might not be confident, but you have to reframe and reprogram the way you think into an abundance mindset into, listen, I'm a high value man. I've only slept with a few women. That's okay. I still, I've still got my shit together. I'm desired. You know, I, I am loved. And, and, and I am of value to, to the other sex. And so they should value it when I approach them, when I speak to them. That's the attitude that you need to walk into it with, okay? You can't be walking into these things with a scarce mindset thinking, oh, shit, I'm not that desired. Hopefully she likes me. Hopefully she likes me is a bad way to go into any interaction with a woman, okay? So on a spiritual level, you know, I just want to conclude this by saying that the number of women you slept with does not matter, does not correlate to your value as a man. Right, let me repeat that. The number of women you've slept with does not correlate to your value as a man. If you slept with a thousand girls, doesn't mean you're a much higher value man. If you slept with three girls, doesn't mean you're a low value man. In fact, the guy that slept with three girls compared to the guy who slept with a thousand girls is, in my opinion, more honorable as a man, more desirable. He's not some hobag who's just put himself out there his whole life and just tried to seek validation. In fact, some of us men who are out there trying to sleep with girls all the time are constantly seeking this validation thing. And we don't have these standards, whether as someone who slept with less amount of women, let's say 10, 20, then you've got higher standards. You don't just put your body out there. Okay, you've got higher standards. You're not seeking validation. You know, you can still be quietly confident and not have slept with many women. That's also a very possible scenario. Okay, so in conclusion, it does not correlate to your value as a man. Do not obsess over it. Do not be consistently like, you know, mulling over that scenario. Oh, I've only slept with six girls and I'm like 33 years old. Oh no, I'm a loser. No, you're not a loser, bro. Keep working on yourself. Keep hitting the gym. Keep getting in good form. Keep focusing on your purpose. Keep focusing on your job and getting a promotion or starting that business or growing your business and, you know, hanging around people you love and keep developing yourself as a person. Okay. Personal development for a man is absolutely everything. You keep developing as a man, you will get what you, what you deserve in the end. Okay. Do not judge your life by how many women you've slept with. From someone that slept with a shit ton of women, I'm telling you right now, it does not give you a higher value. What, <clears throat> what it might do for me is it's, it means I'm more experienced. I can give better advice. I know how to play certain situations. I've been in those situations hundreds upon hundreds of times. So I'm going to know better than someone else how to play it. But listen, I could also very easily lose to a guy who slept with seven women in his life and who's also calm, doesn't want the validation, and is just like super calm about it, and is an abundance mindset, and he's likely to also gain the woman that I want, because he doesn't care about the number of women he slept with. Whether sometimes the player can get slapped back in the face in these relationship scenarios, okay? A lot of players end up alone, a lot of players uh, don't end up finding loving relationships because they're a little bit twisted and they're seeking a certain level of validation. I'm not saying that I'm twisted, but I'm saying that at times I could also definitely be seeking validation. Um, you know, I, I don't put it past that, that scenario. Or it could just be the fact that you're a guy, you're horny and you want to sleep around. And that's just the way it is. But when you do find a loving girlfriend, I do definitely believe in being loyal to that woman. Right. So I hope this has been helpful for those who haven't had as many sexual adventures as someone like myself. Um, stay confident and stay abundant and keep working on yourself. Personal development is the key and being the best man you can be is the most important thing. Peace out.